And Cheryl Hewa, who is the mother of Stephen Hewa, the uh, three-year starting catcher over there at Absagami High School, just finished up a great career, was uh, second-team All-Cape Atlantic League and uh, hit over 400 for the Braves and, and really had a great great season and great career there for Absagami High School. Um, Cheryl, how are you doing this morning? I'm great, Dave. Thanks for having me. No problem. Hopefully you're not too nervous now that you're a radio star. Uh, no, I am very nervous. <laughs> that's, that's all right. We're, this is this is your chance to brag on your son here. I know, uh, you know Matt Ardente got, got a lot of the headlines over there, as deservedly so, for for being a great pitcher and, and finishing up with the uh, school career record for wins with twenty three. But uh, your son was a big part of his development and, and his success over there. Uh, tell me a little, little bit about how you feel now that his career is over, and, and has it really sunk in yet that the last four years have gone by so quickly? It's beginning to. It's. It's bittersweet. I've enjoyed um, watching all the boys play, and uh, Stephen had a great year. So it's uh, it's a little bittersweet right now. Um, <clears throat> tell us a little bit about that program. I know uh, Coach Brian Westell runs a great program over there. Really uh, family oriented, team oriented, and uh, it seemed like this group of kids that that graduated this year really had a tight bond. Tell me about those guys growing up and, and what it was like for Steve being involved with all these young men. Uh, well, Coach Westell believed in, in Steven as an incoming freshman and gave him an opportunity to play, as he did um, a few of the other boys. They've played together since they were uh, five years old. Uh, they're friends on and off the field, and they continue to be. They're all together today, celebrating Fourth of July. <laughs> and uh, they play really well together, and uh, we're going to miss that. We're going to miss the families because the families are close, and uh, it's, it's going to be different. We're talking with uh, Cheryl Hewa, who is the mom of uh, Steve Hewa, the catcher over there at Absagami High School, just recently graduated. Um, what was the most exciting thing for you about this past season? I know the the boys had a had a nice run there, made the playoffs again for the second time in a row. What what will you remember most about this past season? Um, I I just think that watching them play together for the for the final season and uh, Steven doing a really great job behind the plate and. He had, a, he had an awesome job um, hitting this season, so it was exciting to see him um, produce as a hitter as well. Yeah, really really broke out as, as an offensive player. I know um, we had a story about him in our, our most recent issue, uh, sw- sort of a senior spotlight edition, and uh, it was great to feature him up. And I know uh, Coach Wastel couldn't say enough great things about him, and uh, I think he's, he was hoping he could get two more years of eligibility out of Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind that. Actually, <laughs> I, I really in, enjoyed uh, his time at Absagami. He uh, he worked hard, um, you know, with his travel baseball in the summer with the Sand Sharks and their off season and preseason workouts. He, he really worked hard on his hitting, and uh, I think it paid off. Did Did he ever get uh, frustrated in any way that he wasn't getting a lot of attention, or did he not even really care about that? No, I don't think that he got frustrated. I, I mean, I think sometimes you wish he was a pitcher again because <laughs> you know they they do they they, um, do, they do tend to grab the headlines. Yeah, they do, and, and but um, he supports the team. He supports Matt. He's been catching for Matt for like ever, yeah. and um, they really have a nice bond. They have a, a great understanding when uh, Matt's pitching and Steven's behind the plate. And I think that you know moving forward you know into college that that's going to be missed for them talk about that relationship a little bit uh between steven and matt ardente i know i I talked to to matt recently and and he said you know he he wouldn't have been able to accomplish half the things he did in high school without steve as his catcher and i know they're great friends and and really had that great bond on the field uh what what were those boys like you know off the field how how well did they get along And, and it seems like not not only with Matt, but a lot of these other guys, Drew Drew Resch and, and a lot of these other boys, Matt Branco, they're just a great group of kids. They really are. Um, the parents and I have talked about that all season, um, what a great bond they have on and off the field, and uh, especially Matt and Steven being pitcher and catcher. I think that they have, a, you know, an understanding, and, you know, Matt certainly knew when Steven was getting upset with him <laughs> and uh, – they 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 didn't even have to speak, you know. Right. So they uh, they just would pull it together, and you know Matt would do his thing, and and great things happen after that. But they are great friends out off the field as well. Drew and uh, Tyler and Jake and yep. um, 
and not Branko. And, you know, a couple of the boys still play together uh, with ACBL. So we have that for the summer anyway. <laughs> what was the, uh, the, the college selection process like? Was that stressful for you guys as parents? It is. I think we started um, a little late, you know, um, so we wish we had started earlier. But uh, I think that, you know, when you play a, a sport, um, you just really have to go out there and, and uh, find what you want to find and, and hope that the coaches see you. And um, with his travel team, the Sand Sharks, he had great opportunities to play in front of a lot of college coaches. So it worked out for him. Now, were you hoping he'd go a little bit farther away so he wouldn't have to keep doing laundry every weekend? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you know, uh, Rowan's far <clears throat> enough where I can visit him, and he can bring home his laundry at any time. You, you don't mind that? No. If, <laughs> if you ask anybody, they know that um, Mom is going to have a hard time over this uh, this next year. <laughs> What, what's that like for, for a mom? I know in, in sports we focus so much on the dads a lot of time. Is, and uh, what's that like for a mom? You, you know, you've, you've raised your son, and, and he's been with you for 18 years, and now you kind of have to let him go and, and become a man and live his life on his own. How difficult is that for you as a mom? For me personally, extremely difficult. Uh, you know, it, it's been even a rough spring thinking about it um i commiserate with the other mothers i think they're all feeling the same thing but we know that you know that's how things work and uh luckily he's not that far away that right i'll I'll get an opportunity to see him play and uh you know if he works hard and continues to do what he does um he'll be in some games and i'll get to see him now uh one we're talking with uh cheryl hewa here from uh, Absagami High School mom of Steve Hewa, the, the outstanding catcher for the Braves uh, the last four years. So uh, one, one thing I think a lot of people don't realize about that team is, is how well these boys did off the field in the classroom. I know your son had about a 95 average. You've got to be extremely proud of, of what he's been able to accomplish as a student, not only an athlete. He is. Uh, he did do very well. And, um, you know, I just hope that, that he continues with that in college. But he... Um, he sort of had a breakout year in in high school in general. He participated in things I never thought he would because he was always kind of a, you know, quiet quiet kid and, unless he was around his friends. <laughs> but he participated in um, in quite a few things that surprised me, like Mr. Afghani and um, uh, doing a freshman uh, transition and things like that that got him involved in school more than any other year. So I was very proud of him. What was Steve like as a young as a young toddler? What, did you know he was going to be a good athlete from the from the very beginning? Well, he always loved baseball, and his father helped him a lot with baseball. And he always loved catching. I think he was attracted to just the gear at first. He liked <laughs> putting on all that the mask and everything. Yeah, my my six year old nephew as uh, last week was was saying how excited he was. His his father promised him catching gear for Christmas. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough position. You have to want to. You want to do it, and you have to love it. But he always played baseball. Baseball was his thing. He tried other, uh, other sports, but uh, baseball was his thing. And um, he he definitely progressed. He uh, was always a, a good player. But, you know, as the years went on, obviously he, he perfected his uh, his position and, um, and became better at everything uh, with baseball. Are you surprised at the way he's turned out now as, as a, a rising player? college freshman or or did you think he would uh do as well as he did you know not only in the classroom but on the baseball field well i'm i'm kind of like a negative nancy i I, (laughs) i'm just i just uh you know i always want him to do well and i i I, um i knew he would but i this this year in particular um kind of kind of surprised me and i'm very happy about it it's it's got to be great to see your son or daughter make that that leap to the next level to where they're becoming an adult and becoming a leader, you know, both on the field and off the field, and and that's got to be a special feeling for you as a mom to see him sort of uh, come into his own a little bit. It is. Um, I think that uh, that on the field they had a great bond, and I think the boys respected him and and um, what his capabilities were, and off the field, um, you know, just maturing and, and uh, growing. You know, as a young man and in school, all the teachers, you know, liked him and he did well in his classes. So I'm very happy with that. 
So when you, when you drop them off for the first day of college, um, you going to try to hang around and spy on them a little bit, or are you gonna is it going to make you get out of there? Dave, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, I I don't think I'll I'll stick around and spy on them, but I'll always be there for him. Uh, you know, if he needs me, he knows that. Yep. All right, Shell, we appreciate you taking a few minutes with us uh, to tell us about your son, Steve, and uh, congratulations to him and yourself on a, on a great high school career, and uh, I'm sure nothing but good things in the future for him as well. So uh, thanks for telling us about your son and, and taking a few minutes, and enjoy your 4th of July weekend. Thank you, you too, Dave, and thanks for the article and the pictures. They're great. Oh, uh, no problem. Take care. Take care. That was uh, Cheryl Hewa, mom of Stephen Hewa, who is the catcher over there at Absagami High School. And- 